So in this presentation, we are going to look at network diagrams, how to construct a network diagram based on a schedule of activities. So we, here we have a schedule of activities here. And beside, beside those uh, activities, we have the activity that must be completed before that activity can start. For example, C can only start as soon as A is finished and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here make a bit of room. So what we're going to do is start off with A and B. They have no pre, uh, predecessors. So they can start here at node 1. So that's activity A here. And this is activity B. And we can set up these this, the nodes 2 and 3 now. So that's node 2 that's node 3. So uh, I have activities C and D. So I'm going to look at C first. What activities depend on C? Only activity F. So what I'm going to do is set up a node here. I'm going to call it 4 and C connects nodes 2 to 4. Okay and F is going to come out of that later. So I'm going to come back to F later. So what about activity D? What depends on activity D later on? Activity G depends on activity D, but it also depends on activity E, which in turn depends on activity B. So how are we going to sort of uh, look after that there? Uh, how are we going to factor with that? So what we're going to do is have a set up a node here, node 5. Now G is going to come out of this. So what we have here is activity D which depends on A. That's going to go down there like that. And we're going to have activity E, which comes across here like that. And activity G is going to come out of this. So we have, we're down to F and G now. So uh, we let's read forward a second and sort of see what depends on F and G. Well, activities H and, uh, activities H and I both depend on F and G being completed. So what we're going to do is set up a single node here and activities F and G are both going to, win, going, going to go into this node. So that's F there and this is activity G here and we're going to call that node 6 and coming out of node 6 we'll have activities H and I. So uh, there's H there. And activity I goes down there like that. Now, uh, both of those uh, go into nodes, uh, single nodes, because the only activity that depends on H is J. So what we're going to have to do is call this node 7, and J is going to come out of that. We're going to call that node 8, and K is going to come out of that. And they're both going to go into the terminal node, node 9. So uh, we're going to have J there. And we're going to have K there. And that uh, completes everything there. So the key thing to do there is as you go, uh, try and uh, read ahead and uh, sort of plan things out in advance about what arrow goes into what node and uh, making sure they connect. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.